Carnelian, get curious. Carnelian has traveled trade routes, been privy to love letters, and learned ancient secrets scribed on scrolls and stored in cathedrals of learning, like the Great Library of Alexandria and the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. Get out and see the world, Carnelian encourages, lending you strength and fortitude for the travels ahead. Carnelian will hop a ride with any passing caravan, following the wanderings of merchants and messengers to their next destination. This ancient talisman's curiosity doesn't stop with earthly journeys. Carnelian amulets escorted the dead, providing safe passage into whatever lies beyond the setting sun. Life's an adventure if you allow it to be, and Carnelian reminds you to get curious. Carnelian Craft Your Seal Ritual Carnelian has been used since ancient times for signet rings and seals because hot wax doesn't stick to her surface. She's been carved into beads that fastened scrolls shut or were strung into necklaces to be traded as currency. Not only is Carnelian a great traveler, she's a stone who's been intimate with humankind and privy to our secrets and stories for millennia. In older times, our stories were contained in glyphs and pictures. Intaglio stamps made from Carnelian and used to seal letters contained images that told the reader who had sent the missive. The sender was signified by plants, animals, and sometimes a motto embossed on a seal. Create your own seal or personal crest now and ask these questions. What plant represents your spirit? What animal represents how you move through the world? What stone or mineral speaks to your core values? What short phrase encompasses your purpose? Carnelian Reflection Reflecting on the Setting Sun To the ancient Egyptians, the colors of Carnelian were a sunset turned solid. They called Carnelian the setting sun and used it as a guide and protector during transitions. The setting sun has been seen in many traditions around the globe as a metaphor for the passage between the life we know and what is seen in the light of day and the unknown darkness. Darkness indicated what could not be seen and could not be known. Death was symbolized by darkness. It was also the next great adventure and the stone of the setting sun helped you to step bravely into it. Our modern culture is less intimate with death. It doesn't feel as familiar as the setting sun and is often thought of as a thing to fear. Ask yourself, do you allow yourself to think about death or is it a subject locked behind a bolted door in your mind? Can the rhythms of day and night create a metaphor for you about dying and what may come next?